A Shaker Heights family believes school leaders jumped to conclusions when they accused that family's first grader of bringing ammunition to school. Now the six-year-old's parents are calling for a review of school policies and training. News 5's Catherine Ross sat down with the parents of that student tonight and explains the family's concern about both safety and bias. This police body camera footage shared by parents at Onaway Elementary shows a partially full case of ammunition found at the school in mid-January. Jatana Carter and Rashawn Millen say they were told the box was found in their six-year-old daughter's backpack. Where did she get them from? because we don't have guns or bullets in our home. Carter says that was puzzling enough when police called her after school, but she couldn't understand why she didn't hear anything from the school for several more hours and why there was no lockdown or apparent search for weapons. Probably found them at home, like, wow, look at the, you know, wanted to show somebody. Did we contact the parents? Not yet. Not yet. In the body camera footage, school staff tells the officer a boy in the same class gave the bullets to a teacher's aide at the end of the day, saying he got them from Carter's daughter. She did tell us that she had seen the bullets all day, that all the children had been looking at the bullets. Carter says she received little communication after a meeting at the school the next morning, aside from a letter home to families in the class. The investigation is over. They don't know where the bullets came from. That wasn't enough for us. We don't have access for bullets for our child. She shouldn't be able to go to school and get bullets. After watching the body camera footage themselves, the six-year-old's parents say they had more questions. So many implicit biases. So many. Carter tells us her daughter has never been in trouble before and was even chosen as the principal student of the quarter. She feels her child was treated differently than her peers in this situation. They ask, like, you ever had a problem with Raven like this or her brother? And they're like, mm, you know, absolutely you didn't. She was just the principal student. She's a great kid. She's an asset to the community. Say that. Carter requested for her daughter to change classes, and the family has filed a complaint. The district shared a statement with News 5 about the incident and how it was handled, saying in part, quote, we took this incident very seriously and acted according to our safety protocols in notifying police, staff, and families. Adding they may never know how the ammunition got to school, but staff and students were never in danger. The district also says it has received the family's complaint and is reviewing procedures and protocols. Carter wants more training and preparation for situations like this. Get to the bottom of it. Follow protocol and don't you let implicit biases rule your judgment. In Shaker Heights, Captain Ross, News 5.